Hey everyone, my name is Ashley and this is my very first YouTube video and it's going to be my March monthly favorites. For my first favorite, it's my Laura Mercier foundation primer. I believe this is a deluxe sample size. This is one of my favorite foundation primers. Um, I do not like to use silicone based primers because I feel like they're too heavy on my skin and it feels like they're clogging my pores so I try to stay away from silicone based primers and this one does not have silicone in it it's more of like a gel lotiony kind of consistency and this is just one of my favorite foundation primers for my foundation I've been using the Chanel Vitalume Aqua you can't really see it this is my holy grail foundation when I found this, it replaced all other foundations I had ever used. I will never be without this. It is one of the best foundations. It's very lightweight and it's water-based. So it goes on so smoothly. It's not heavy. And it just, it makes your skin look flawless. For my concealer, I've been using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW30. I've had this for quite a long time and this is what I've been using under my eyes for my concealer. I also been using the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose. This is also a holy grail product for me. It brightens up your under eyes and it's just, it's fantastic. To set my foundation and my concealer, I've been using the Laura Geller balance and brighten in regular. This is considered a powder foundation, but because but because the Chanel um, foundation is so lightweight and it's like a light coverage, I like to use an actual powder foundation over top of it just to give a little bit more coverage and it makes your skin look flawless. For bronzer, I've been using the Natural Bronzer from Trish McAvoy. I don't believe this has shimmer in it, so it's perfect for doing your contour area and also just bronzing up your whole face. For blush, I've been using Pinched by NYX. And it's like a pinky, pinky peach color with some shimmer in it. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm. And it just it gives you such a pretty flush on your cheeks. Over top of the NYX, I've been using the Kardashian Beauty Radiant Ombre Blush. And I've been using this, there's like a lighter color over here that I like to put just right on the top of, of my cheekbones. And it just gives you such a pretty glow to your skin. For my eyebrow product, I have used this forever. It's the Sonia Kashuk Arch Alert Brow Kit in number 12. And there's a lighter shade in here, but I mostly use the I mostly use these dark shades here and I mix them together and it gives me like the perfect brow color for my hair. I think this this is kind of similar to the Anastasia dip brow pomade. I haven't used that yet, but it I feel like it's like the same consistency. Um but this one isn't waterproof and so it's probably not as long lasting. For my eyeshadow base, I've been using the NYX in white. I normally use like a skin colored eyeshadow base, but I've been really into the white because not only does it make your eyeshadow last longer, it also makes the color of your eyeshadow stand out better and I just I've been using this every single day. For my favorite eyeshadow this month, I absolutely love this palette. It is one of my holy grails. I It's perfect for my eyeshadow or for my eye color. And it's just the best palette I have ever purchased. It's the Naked 3 from Urban Decay. I will not be without this palette. It is so versatile. For my eyeliner, I've been using the NYX Gel Liner and Smudger in dark brown. 
I used to use black, but I realized that it was kind of too harsh for my eyes, well, for my eye color, so I switched to a dark brown, and it just, it's fantastic. So I've been using this all month long. I probably will continue using this forever. It's, it's that good. Okay, for my mascara, this is another Holy Grail mascara. It's Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. The brush just is, it's just perfect. It, it just makes your eyes, your eyelashes so fluttery and just full. And then over top of that, I've been putting the Maybelline The Rocket Volume. This just helps, I think, separate my lashes better. This isn't the waterproof formula, it's just the regular. And it just really separates my lashes. So I love that. For my lips this month, I have been wearing the YSL Rouge Volupt in number 31. It's a beautiful pinky shade. And it's from the um, YSL Spring 2014 collection that just came out. It's so pretty. Over top of that, or alone, I've been wearing the Milani Rose Blush Lip Gloss. This smells like candy. It is amazing. It's actually a little bit sticky on the lips, but because of the way it smells and the color that it gives, I, I overlook the stickiness of the gloss, but it's absolutely beautiful. I have a few of these um, lip glosses. Also, I've been wearing the L'Oreal Extraordinaire Liquid Lipstick. And I believe this is in Rose Opera. And it kind of reminds me of the Rose Blush Lip Gloss from Milani. But this is, I feel like, more opaque. And this one also smells really good. Okay. And for my last product I've been using, I this originally was the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I finished this bottle up, ran out of it, and decided to purchase the Laura Geller Set and Stay Setting Spray. This came in a kit with this and also her um, foundation primer. I got it from Ulta Online. And so what I've been doing is because when I spray it out of this container, it like sprays out not very fine. It's kind of like targeted and it just, it doesn't spray really well out of this bottle. So once I used up the Urban Decay All Nighter, I poured the Laura Geller Set and Stay spray in this bottle, and this one sprays out perfectly. It's like a beautiful, fine mist, and it's wonderful. So um, I'll probably purchase the Urban Decay All Nighter spray, the full size, again, once I run out of this one. But because this came in a kit with a foundation primer, I figured why not and I just poured it in here because the bottle the sprayer on this is just it does not spray out the way it should so those are all of my March monthly favorites so I will be probably posting um, another video next month for my monthly favorites and I'm hoping to maybe post um, a makeup haul or a beauty haul soon so until then thank you so much bye